trek here. Yeah. That tree is so pretty. Yeah, you're, you're, yeah, there's some good, there's a big photogenic spot. Hey everyone, welcome to our channel Aqua Blue. Today I'm taking you to a special place in Hilo, Hawaii called Hakalau Beach Park. Do you smell the gardenias? Somewhere. That's what that is? Yeah, that's what that is. Oh, this is the jungle. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. This park once was a busy industrial site that has been overtaken by rainforest and wildlife that is now a beautiful sight to see. Hawaii's history has significant roots in the sugarcane business. While Hawaii's last sugar mill closed in 2016, the ruins of some of these old sugar mills can still be seen today. Hakalau Beach Park is one of them. Like you have these, so the industrialization here, right? Because that was way more part of the But the jungle takes it over and you're like, oh, but that was actually. Established in 1878, the Hakalau Plantation Company had over 800 workers and harvested over 16,000 tons of sugar in 1914. With the advancement in harvesting tools, this number would double in the 1920s. Of course, the ocean's coming in, so it depends on the tide and the high, low, and where it's coming in, and uh, the, the, how much rain has happened up there, so what's coming down. But there, so the, the map changes where there's the sandy spit that would sometimes form, but then sometimes there's big waves and they're surfing them right into the mouth of the river. Uh, so it's different at the time. The Hakalau Plantation was awarded a silver shield for maintaining the highest factory efficiency for six years in the region of Hawaii from 1921 to 1926. The sugar had to be transported to Honolulu by ship before the railroad was built. Here are a few photos of the bridge being built. Since the mill was built on a cliff off Hakalau Bay, it was quite an operation to transfer the market-ready sugar onto a ship. If men needed to leave the island, they had quite the adventure also. I found this photo of a man being transported by a breeches buoy, which can be compared to a zip line with a flotation device attached to a crane. Oh, there you go. And there's, so there's the banana. There's a banana uh, flower for me. But that'll be a bunch. Oh. Yeah. It'll grow, the flower will fall off, and then the banana will yeah. You know, Hawaii is known for its apple, but there's these hybridized bananas because they're easy and they're big and they're marketable, and most of them they're shipping from somewhere else. 
like Ecuador. The bridge over the Hakalau stream was the longest built of its time in the area, which was 270 feet long. A tsunami in 1946 caused significant damage to the area of Hilo, including the sugar mill. It was reported the tidal wave averaged 30 feet tall with 159 people lost. The old railroad is now Hawaii Belt Road. This is a great spot for a short hike or the perfect place to relax and take in the scenery. Oh, wow. Because this is low. The river is low right now. Like, it's, this is um, pretty calm. Often you can't, those rocks, you don't even see those rocks. So oh, the water it's that high. Down. Yeah, so, you know, that tree is used to getting bathed in water.
footage of a little swirl on the river. Yeah. So cool. when, when I see that, I'm like, all oh, right, that's fine. Kind of the one that is fun. You got a mosquito on your head. Oh, I do? Yeah. Yep. What's that? Yeah, so that's wow. coming up. That's coming up from the mountain. Yeah. When it's had had the Ago. Holy cow. Look at that. It was right on the water. Yeah, sugar mill. Oh yeah, because they probably had a paddle wheel around the mill. Yeah. Yep. Well what happened is this was actually privately owned. But the guy let people come and use it and then finally oh. this county had enough money they wanted to buy it and make it an official public park. They went, oh, the truck won't get over this bridge. It's not sturdy enough. So we've got to fortify that bridge oh, no. to get the equipment down to do that bridge. So that was pretty much the beginning of that. Oh, this is hidden. <laughs> yeah, this I was is. like, where are you going? <laughs>
Unfortunately, the park has been closed since 2017 after lead contamination was found in the soil from the lead paint used on the Hakalau Stream Bridge. While the park is still technically closed, you can still make your way through the fence. Although some will say don't spend too much time here because of the contamination. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.